Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed a product updates video and I believe this sort of style video was started by It's Kirsten. So I will have one of her videos and her channel linked down below. But these kinds of videos, you just talk about products that you had recently purchased in past haul videos and let your viewers know your thoughts on these products, if they've changed or what you just think of them in general. So I think I'm talking about three or four hauls in here, but I don't have a ton of products from those hauls. But I like going through my hauls and letting you know if I use something up decluttered them, still have them, etc. just so I can make sure I check these off my list. I can't remember what number video of my product updates this is. Anyway, let's get into the product updates video. So the first haul that I'm going to talk about is my Collective Beauty haul from April 2017. So it's been about a year and a half since then. I used up the Mari Badescu Rose Water Spray, the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the Maybelline Femi Concealer, a bunch of Bath & Body Works products, the Equate Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover, I decluttered the Too Faced Natural Love palette and then their Honey Lip Gloss. I liked the palette, it just wasn't my absolute favorite and I wasn't reaching for it, so I believe I passed it on to Shay. The Honey Lip Gloss, I'm pretty sure I put in my giveaway pile and same with the Marc Jacobs Dew Drop. So I have three types of products from that haul video still. So first I have my Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. I've actually gone through several bottles since then, I think this is probably my third or fourth one of this specific scent. I really enjoy the Mario Badescu sprays for either my facial toner, but also as a finishing spray, a setting spray, refreshing mist, whatever you want to do with this. And I think it smells really good, the specific scent. I think it just smells really fresh. And then I also have used up a ton of Batiste dry shampoos, but that was on my list in the haul video. So I thought I would just share with you my current one. This is the Batiste, the dry shampoo in light and breezy fresh. And this is their giant bottle. Like look at it compared to my head. I love the Batiste dry shampoo. It really works for my hair. And it's actually the only dry shampoo that works for my hair, at least that I've tried. I think I've tried like maybe three or four of them. In the last product for my collective beauty haul from April 2017, I have my Do Care brush set and I just brought out my ones that I'm currently using that are dirty right now. So here's three of them. They're just an affordable brush set. I'm pretty sure they're made in China, but they are like $30 and they're actually really, really good quality. I think they work super well and they hold up very nicely. So here's an eyeshadow brush that I use. I usually use it to highlight my brow bone and blend out my lower lash line. This is the one I use for contouring and my inner corner brush or you could use it as a lip brush. I really like these brushes. They've held up for a year and a half through so many different washes and spot cleaning my brushes and I feel like they're just a really nice quality affordable brush. And for the next haul video I have my birthday haul which was split up into two different videos and this was from May 2017. So I used up the Freeman Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask, the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow and Birthday Cake, the ColourPop Aquarius Lip Liner, two ColourPop Press Shadows in Liar Liar and Bel Air. And I actually just realized today that I've been calling the shadow Lil Boat Bel Air for probably like at least six months. So sorry about that. And then I also finished the H&M Eyeshadow in Fine China, the Eco Tools Sponge Duo, the Equate Beauty CC like color correcting sponge pack, the Chapstick Total Hydration in Coconut, the Revlon Cream Eyeshadow in Creme Brulee, the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes, the Wet n Wild Princess Daiquiri's Ombre Blush, the Alba Botanica Moisturizer, the macadamia hair oil mask, the OGX Kakui oil, I think it was a serum or spray, I forget, and the NYX matte liquid liner. I decluttered the Charlotte LaCroix skincare. I just didn't like their skincare that much. I put the Tarte and Sephora birthday gift from last year into my giveaway pile, so I decluttered it, but I gave it away. And then I'm sad about this one. I had lost my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and Frickin' Frack. It fell out of my pocket when I was at a bar, and I'm still very sad about that. I also decluttered the Beauty Big Bang Rainbow Highlighter, the Pink Ice Galactic Glam Nail Polish, and then the Matcha Mud Mask. And I actually only have one product from this video. And that is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the shade Princess Daiquiri. So I mentioned that I used it up, but I actually repurchased it. And here's what it looks like. It is a really beautiful, light, peachy blush. If you have fair to light skin, this would work on you. I would not recommend it if you were deeper than that. I love this blush because it's so easy to build up. 
that's like a super, super light swatch of it. You probably can't even see it. I built it up a little bit more, so that might help. I really like this blush because I feel like it builds up on itself really, really nicely. And I like blushes that can do that, especially being very light skinned. If I go heavy handed with blush, I look like a clown and it takes sometimes a little bit <laughs> to blend it out. I really like this blush. I like the formula. I just wish they would expand their shade range because they're pretty much only for pale people for this specific line of blushes. And that's not acceptable and wild. Get it together. And I only have one more haul for this product updates video, and this was my summer 2017 beauty haul. I used up the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I freaking miss that moisturizer so much. That's probably my all-time favorite moisturizer that I've tried. I used up the Aldo Vandini Pure Shower Gel in White Magnolia Blossom. That was from a German company, I believe. And the Numis Med Day and Night Cream, which was also sent to me from a German company. A bunch of Bath & Body Works products, the Went Wild Mega Last Liquid Cap, suit liquid lipstick and rebel rose the makeup forever excessive lash mascara sample the mark jacobs row cocoa i think it was their highliner the l'oreal pro glow foundation the elf hydrating face primer the elf beautifully bare hydrating dewy drops the elf brow gel jergens self tanner and i decluttered the l'oreal pro matte gloss and statement nude so I have two products from that haul and they're both from Morphe. So I have my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and then my Morphe M433 brush. And this one's clean. I haven't used it in a little bit just because I'm using another blending brush similar to this right now. And here is what it looks like. So this is very similar to the MAC 217, the Sigma E25, and a bunch of other brushes like that. I like this one a lot. It is a little bit scratchy, but I feel like it's gotten a little bit softer with washes. I feel like this blends product in my crease really well. I like this brush a lot and I've recently purchased I think three other Morphe brushes and I do enjoy all of them. And then I've talked this palette to death. This is my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and I did a review on it. I'll link it up in the cards. I've mentioned that so many times before as well. But here's what mine currently looks like. So mine's definitely well loved. I finished the shade Faint right here. I hit pan. I think that's Pooter. This shade in Queen I've hit pan on, and I've also hit pan on Diva as well. I did swatch a couple of them on my hand right here. I think that's Pool Party, and I'm not sure what other shades these are, but it's a bronzy shade, and then they're a matte forest green shade. I love this palette so much. I'm currently panning three palettes right now, so I haven't used this one in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like probably a month. But I still love this palette so much. I love the color variety it has. I do think there's way too many matte transition shades, especially these warm tones right here. So I think they could do without a few of them. But overall, I really do love this palette. So that was my product updates video. I like doing these every so often. I've just been forgetting to do this one for the last part of like... I think it's been like five or so months since I've done one of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.